Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another planty video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be doing a string of hearts themed video because my string of hearts, just let me show you. <laughs> let me show you. <laughs> what the heck is that? Like, um, I'm sorry, but that looks like an actual rat's nest. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so freaking crispy and tangled and it's just awful, you guys. They're, all of the crispy leaves are just falling onto the table in front of me. This, like, it's coming down, okay, okay, and then boom. What the heck is that? Yeah, this just got so completely neglected. The neglect started long ago, my friends. I've been neglecting this thing for probably the past couple of years. I feel like in my last place, I didn't have a good place to hang it. Like I didn't really have a lot of options for trailing plants in my last place. And um, some of them just end up getting neglected because of that. And this was unfortunately one of them. And this is actually my beautiful silver glory string of hearts. So today in this video, we're gonna be seeing my string of glory, of course. Is that what it's called? Silver glory. <laughs> Did I just call it string of glory? Whatever, same thing. My silver glory string of hearts. And then we're also going to be working with my variegated string of hearts. We also have a similar, <laughs> this is a theme. We have a similar thing going on here. Boom, there it is. The little baby tangled rat's nest happening right there. Um, not as bad as the other one, a little bit more manageable. Uh, so we're going to be working with the variegated one and then we're also going to be working with, we're not really going to be doing much to it, but we're going to be giving a haircut to my beautiful, just regular string of hearts. And this is the one that looks the best out of all of them. It's just so long now, it's on the floor, so I want to give it a bit of a haircut, but it looks so healthy and lush and I, I literally just love it so much. And seeing how beautiful my regular green string of hearts is looking just really makes me want to care for the, the other two varieties that I have better because I really do just love string of hearts so much. They're an incredibly beautiful plant. Um, I feel like they aren't as popular as they were, you know, four or five years ago. They were so hyped up. I remember being on a waiting list, you guys, for my regular green one at my local plant shop to get one. And I was so excited when I finally got it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just kind of want to like rekindle the string of hearts love because I really do think that they're a spectacular house plant. So we're going to be giving some care and attention to my string of hearts plants today. I hope that sounds good to you. I'm going to go gather my supplies and then we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so I thought that we would actually start with just the regular green one. So I'm going to grab it and show you just how long it is. Oh no, I've kind of tangled it. Oh shoot. You really like cannot move these once they're long or else they will just immediately get tangled. It's already getting tangled just from me moving it to the table. Oh my gosh, okay, well the very bottom is tangled but hopefully you guys will get the idea of how long it is. So this is her, <laughs> like are you kidding me? She's taller than me. She is taller than me. This is just, it's crazy. Look at her. I wish I had a better background to show her to you, like a more solid background. But she is so incredibly long. Like she is six feet, I would say. For sure six feet. And she's so just like healthy looking and lush. Like, look at how beautiful. Oh, the train going by. So she sits on top of my Millsbow wide cabinet um, and she is trailing on the ground. So that's why I'm gonna be chopping off just like this much, I guess, maybe like a foot off of the end. Just a little trim. Okay, so this is how I'm going to chop her. I have her draped over the back of my chair here. So I'm just gonna come from this side and just snip all of these ends off. Oh, I'm kind of sad to be trimming her honestly, but she's still gonna be really long and I'm gonna propagate all the cuttings and then I can put them back in the top to fill her out a little bit more because she is very long and she she's lush, but she's not like super, super full. So. Um, I'm excited. 
Okay, there's like hairs in it and stuff because it's been on the floor. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a quick chop. Like I said, I'm just gonna, just gonna pretty much do one. Oh my gosh, there's literally so many hairs in it. Wow. Anyways, <laughs> it's kind of unwell, but we're gonna carry on. Okay, I'm gonna do, I guess I'm just gonna do right here. Okay, ready? There we go. One clean cut, pretty much. That's gonna be our propagations. Um, I'm just gonna be water propagating. I always like to water propagate my string of hearts. I find that it works really well. And yeah, it's just my preferred method. So um, I'm just going to remove all of the lower leaves so that they're not gonna rot. I just want stem to be sitting in the water. So um, I'll probably speed that up and then throw these in some water um, and I'll meet you guys once I've done that. Okay, so this is what the mother plant is currently looking like. That's, um, it's hard to show you. I've moved the table so close to here so I don't have a lot of room to back up, but I mean, it's about a foot and a half off the ground now. So that looks great. And then, um, yeah, whenever those cuttings root up, I'll be potting them back into there. Okay, so like I said, this one is also a little bit tangled, but it's not as bad. And I'm gonna be chopping this one as well. So I'm gonna see if I can untangle it a little bit here. Um, I'm so happy right now because I haven't seen my quail, not my quail, but there's um, there's a pair of quail that hang around my yard and I love quail so much, California quail. Um, and I hadn't seen them in so long, like weeks. And I was like, oh no, like what's happened to them? But I just, the window's open right now and I just heard them peeping outside and they're out there and I'm just, I'm so glad to see them. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's the same quail that I always see out there, but I just, you know, I just assume that it is. And I call them the lovers. What's going on here? Sometimes this is like a, an, um, whatchamacallit, an optical illusion, like one of those visual puzzles. Because I can't figure out where the end, this looks like it's supposed to be the end of one. But why is it attached? Oh. That's the end, okay. Okay, I think it's mostly untangled and I'm gonna be cutting it anyways, but despite this kind of being neglected and getting tangled, the hearts look really good on it. Like they are beautiful. I can show you some of them up close. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me? Those are so, so nice. So it's been doing really well. Um, 
So I'm just going to be cutting, I don't know how much I'm gonna cut off of this one. I kind of wanna cut a lot though. Like, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna cut it here. So snip, snip, boom, done. And then I'm gonna cut these into some smaller vines. So I'll move the mother plant. This is what's left of her. Still kind of long, honestly. I'm gonna repot her too. And I also have cuttings too, but we'll get to that. Let's focus on this first. Okay, so I am going to chop again right here. Actually, I'm gonna look at each one. Okay, so that's gonna be um, a couple of strands there. And I'm gonna chop again. This one is a double strand, so I'm gonna remove these two leaves at the top and then hopefully I'll get some roots out of the node that kind of connects them both right there. Like that. Oh, same thing here. There's a double one again. And it's really pretty. The leaves are so gorgeous on it. These ones are just single strands and I'm just gonna remove the leaves at the node. So this is what all of the variegated cuttings look like. I'm just gonna set these to the side because um, we're gonna repot the plant right now. So we're gonna be moving this into a larger vessel and I'm also going to be potting up some cuttings that I had rooting already. Um, these were just in the office and they were barely getting any light so the growth doesn't look great but they are rooted so I might as well pop them in while we do this repot. They have potential for future growth, right? So I'm gonna be using my Molly's Aeroid Mix because that's what I plant my string of hearts into is just Aeroid Mix. This is my DIY one. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this out with them. I've never used it on a string of plant before, but I think they're gonna like it. I don't like my, I was thinking about doing like a cactus succulent mix, but I don't know why I would do that because my biggest problem when it comes to growing string of hearts is underwatering. So I think that this is just gonna help um, prevent them from getting too bone dry, hopefully. So I'm just gonna put some of that in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull this out of here. Unfortunately, I did just water this <laughs> very recently, so it's gonna be a little bit messy, I think, but that's okay. Oh, okay, it just came out in like a little square. That's good, actually, then I can just pop it in. In this tiny container, it was always getting way too dry, so I am really excited about this upgrade. Okay, and then before I add more potting mix, I'm going to pop in the cuttings that are rooted. Boop. And then just fill it up. Thank 
think I'm gonna need my chopstick as I usually do when I'm repotting. This thing saves my life, honestly. I just like to make sure that there's not huge gaps. Um, that's why I always use a chopstick. We are finished with this one. I'll show you the final result. So is it nice and lush? No, not yet, but it will be. We have to trust the process. It's this long now and it's only a few strands, but I think I'm gonna have a lush one one day. So we'll just have to be patient. This variegated one typically lives in this little macrame hanger. Um, this was just supposed to be a temporary spot for it and it still kind of is because it's literally just hanging off of the lamp, but it works for now. That's where it's gonna stay and the macrame kind of hides the yogurt thing since I don't have a cover pot for it yet. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it back there for now. And then for the cuttings, they look so cute in this cup. I think I'm gonna put them on here. How adorable do they look? I love that. And the Wilbur Graves Hoya on top is kind of like pushing down on them, keeping them submerged in the water. So it's kind of perfect. And now for the beast. I really hope that this one has a glow up because this was my favorite variety of string of hearts before I completely neglected it. So I think that this is just gonna go. Like most of the leaves are shriveled or just like really wrinkled. Um, it's just not, it's not healthy leaves. So I think straight away, we're just gonna cut that off. And I'm sorry if this pains anybody, but it just, it just needs to be done. I think we're just gonna work with the, the more salvageable leaves higher up. Actually, this section might, I might be able to work with some of this section. I'll do another cut. I think they went this way. <laughs> I forget which way was up and which way was down. I think it's like this though. Oh no, I think it was like this. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do it like this. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure it out when I watch the footage back. <laughs> Look at how pretty the silver is. I just love it. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut probably into, actually, what am I gonna do? How much am I gonna cut? I think I'm gonna cut about here and then I'll leave this much on the plant, if you can see. Um, and then we'll do these as our propagations. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna start snipping. Talk about a dramatic haircut. That's literally what's gonna be left of the mother plant now. Crazy. It somehow looks so much better though. <laughs> I mean, not somehow, of course it does. It was looking like a hot mess before.
Okay, so I've got these cuttings that are all ready to go along with these ones. So that's a pretty good bundle for me to be repotting once they root. Like that will that will make a pretty a pretty full plant actually. So um, that's great. I'm just going to water propagate them again. Pop them in here. And I'm using water with a little bit of Super Thrive. All right, now I'm gonna go find a bright spot to put her. And then again, I'm just gonna do a really quick repot for this one, mostly because, I don't know, it, I mean, it does actually look quite rooted. <laughs> we'll find out in a second, but I can see roots at the top here, but I just feel like it needs a soil refresh anyways. Like it's been in this pot for probably a couple of years. Um, so I am just gonna go ahead and pop him out. There we go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Nothing could have prepared me for that. Are you serious? <laughs> this is insane. They look so healthy somehow, even though this thing has been so neglected. Oh my gosh, that is freaking crazy. Okay, super, super rooted. Maybe I should go with an even bigger pot, honestly. Like, this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do this size for now, but I'll probably upgrade. I'm gonna have to once those cuttings root up and I pot everything together because there just simply won't be enough room. Um, but for now, I'll just put it into the yogurt container, but holy smokes, that is crazy. really not much of a size upgrade. All right, there she is in her new pot and she actually hangs in kind of like a wicker basket um, in front of the window so she will have a cover pot on which is nice but I need to water her and everything after we wrap up this video which we're gonna do right now because I think we're done I am so glad that we addressed all of my string of hearts in this video because it just it needed to be done and like I said I love them so much I really want to see them doing better than they have been doing it was neglect hour for a minute there except for the long one um but we are moving on to a new chapter where they're all going to be long and lush and healthy and I can't wait to provide some updates for you so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you if you watched to the end of this video Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, do you have a string of hearts or did you have one when they were really hyped and now you don't have one anymore? What are your thoughts on them? I would love to hear. Also, I would love to hear what your favorite variety is. Apparently there's a variety that I don't have called, oh, what is it called? Orange River, I think. I've never really seen that one before. And to be honest, I don't even really know what the difference is between that one and the regular one. But maybe one day I'll come across it and add it into my collection as well. Anyways, that's it. That's all. I hope that y'all have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.